Hello, everyone, and welcome to my podcast. Today, I'm going to be talking about drama and pop culture and how it has affected our society today. I am joined by a very special guest, Parvati. Hi. And I'll be asking her a couple of questions. To start us off, how do you feel that drama and pop culture has affected our society today? Um, personally, I think that like it has a really big in- impact on society today. Um, for example, like newspapers and tabloids are all based off of drama and they profit off of it. Like multiple organizations are purely based off of celebrity drama. And I also think that like friendships are formed as along with like people who side with like specific drama. Like, yeah. was this wrong? Was this right? Like that. Like for example, like Taylor Swift and Kanye was like a huge debate in two thousand nine, and I have friends who believe that like Kanye was right or Taylor was right. It really depends. Like, honestly, yeah, I, th- I think that's my personal view on it. Yes, um, I agree on that because it tends to create lots of arguments. And Mm -hmm. things can be very debatable in the end. And it's just, you know, really which side you kind of take on. Mm -hmm. Um, So does your perspective about an icon differ if they are related in a lot of the drama? Um, Well, personally, I don't like to idolize people because I think it's like a pretty bad thing. Because obviously you need to know that like a person is human and they have their own faults. Um, But uh, I think that, yeah, maybe because it depends on what like what they've done and i would honestly like look at it from like a not biased side and i would see like what i think is right or wrong and i would choose the side of that person no matter how much i like the set other person or maybe i don't like the other person it really depends yeah um i agree with you on that so is it fair that celebs have drama and it gets published for everyone to see Well, again, I still think that celebrities are human and they're people and they have their own emotions. And like, especially if it was me, I wouldn't want something that was private between me and some other person or people to be published out in newspapers or something like that. Um, So I don't think it's fair, especially judging since that, especially knowing that they are people as well and they have their own emotions. Yes, I agree. I agree with you because um, a lot of the times when like drama comes out, you know, things just cause like lots of confusion and lots of arguments with one another. And sometimes it's like not really like what's actually shown, you know, people just make their Mm -hmm. own assumptions about things. That's really kind of what, you know, stirs up the pot sometimes. And to follow up on that, um, do you think that it's fair that people who are not associated with drama have an input in all of this? Um... Honestly, it's if it's a drama between celebrities, it's their own thing. I don't understand why people try to get involved or give their opinion because they're not a part of it. They're not friends with them. They aren't family with them. They don't know anything about them. They yeah. just know what the media has published about them. And that's not very much. And claiming that you know someone, like I know a lot about a celebrity is kind of false because you really don't know what you think you know. It's just what has been published to you for and been fed to you, basically. So... Yeah. I don't think that like other people's opinions like really matter and su- touch like subjects like that. So yeah. Yeah, because a lot of the times like we don't really know what's going on in like their homes and we don't really know like their full lifestyle. And here mm-hmm. we're just judging them based on like whatever's put out there on the internet. And you know, sometimes all of that's not even true, you know? Right. And, yeah, and it's just kind of like it turns into this whole big thing. And have you ever not liked any of your idols that you looked up to based on the drama that they've been involved in? Mm, I mean, I when I was like, I was born in 2008, so 2009 was when the Taylor Swift um, Kanye drama was. And personally, I'm like a really big fan of Taylor Swift, yeah. but I, I was one year old, so I don't think I had much of an opinion on that. And I don't think, I think yeah. that I, bl- I was on Taylor's side, honestly, after learning what I know now. But um, any of my idol- for most of my idols right now, a lot of the people in like the pop culture, like the in-, in the industry itself, they've done really bad things that like no, I don't have any right to really talk about. So I know I understand like the things that they might have done wrong, and I understand that. But like, I don't like to really focus on like the person. I focus more on like what they create, like especially with like musical artists, like whatever music they create or if they're actors or something like that. Like I try to I tend to put the personality aside. 
Yeah, do you feel like their platforms are affected? What do you mean by that? So like, if this person was involved in like a lot of the drama, do you believe that whatever, like the career that they built up, the platform that they built up is affected by all of this? I mean, I think that the fans that they that are theirs might be influenced by what they say because, like, there are definitely celebrities who have done really bad things and they have a really huge following, and their social they they post really bad things on social media, and their fans might think that's okay since they're a young like most of the time fans are a young audience, so it might be bad for them. It really depends, but I, I think most of the time, yeah, it's not that great. Uh, I agree with you on that. Thank you so much for joining in with me today. Thank you everyone for tuning in to this podcast. We hope you have a great day. This is Chaitana signing off. Bye. <laughs>